These are bacon wrapped barbecue meatballs. Now you can make them on your smoker, grill, or even in the oven. These are delicious and perfect for your 4th of July. These things are so easy, and this is how you do it. Let's preheat your oven, smoker, or grill. A temperature between 350 and 400 degrees is perfect. And of course, my target temperature is 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna start with a bag of fully cooked meatballs. And yes, your homemade meatballs would be much better, so go for it. The first thing you need to do is determine exactly how many meatballs you have. Now, since I have 14 meatballs, I need seven slices of bacon. Cut that bacon in half. Now wrap the bacon around the meatballs and then pin it with a toothpick. Now I'm just gonna spread those meatballs out on a rack and then I'm gonna cook for 30 minutes at 375 degrees. And then I've started a timer so I can keep up with my time. While these meatballs are cooking, it's time to make up my barbecue sauce blend. Start with several spoonfuls of grape jelly. And yes, break up that grape jelly with a fork. Add in one bottle of bullseye barbecue sauce. Follow that up with a bottle of Stubbs barbecue sauce. Now add in a couple of spoonfuls of minced garlic. Give it a good mix and you're good to go. Now this makes way more barbecue sauce than you'll need for these meatballs. When your meatballs are cooked for about 30 minutes, you need to check and see how that bacon looks. If it's good, then you want to give them a dip in your barbecue sauce and cook them for another five minutes. At the end of that five minutes, you can either take them off or you could give them another dip in the barbecue sauce and cook for another five minutes. Look, I had a little bit of barbecue sauce left, so I'm going to brush on that remaining barbecue sauce one last time and cook for another five minutes. Let's remove them from the grill, and here you can sprinkle on some parsley or chive. This is where you get your style points. These are so good, you have to give them a try. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Pawdaddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.